for the Panthers. Here's the Duke lineup, of course. You've got, we told you, Jeremy Roach and then Filipowski and Mitchell inside, and Filipowski taps back home his own miss. Attacking on the dribble, and he will score. Early hoop for Jared McCain. Ten to shoot, and here's Foster. Back for Filipowski. On the drive in traffic, a little shot fake gets him his second field goal. He struggled last game around the basket. He missed three, four of those. Duke wants to get in transition here, guys. That's what Jeff Capel does not want to happen, is Duke getting in transition. Jeremy Rose gets a walk-up three. And a lead for Austin to catch and score. Did you even say anything to your guy at that point? And that's my one of the it's probably the worst thing a player can do in my book. Step out of bounds. Austin with a terrific play on what looked like a catch and shoot for McCain, Corey. Yeah, and they got a guard against Filipowski and they take the jump shot. Look at Roach in transition, knock down a triple. 22nd of the year for Jeremy Roach. With Corey Alexander, the Hall of Fame head coach Jim Beheim, West Durham. Carrington to pull off. Spins out, Federico resets for Pitt. Here's Henson from the logo. Well, Eric said he never got the ball unless he rebounded it. So and, and that's why he wasn't throwing it out. <laughs> never thrown it out. And most of the time, he dumped it anyway. Here's Jalen Lowe in the corner. Carrington three. Federico, the rebound from behind Young. Here's Austin in traffic. Had it wedged from behind on the block. And Duke in transition. And McCain launches and hits. The Blue Devils have hit three threes with three more. And, of course, McCain. Got to get it. Nothing, nothing worse than you get a wide open three and miss it, and they go down and make a wide open three. Federico underneath the basket feeds Austin for the dunk. An undervalued shot blocker. Here's Young backing in on Federico and scores. Allow him to walk down, get a little closer, and then take advantage of the size against Roach on the block. Filipowski. Yeah. Against Diaz Graham. That's a tough guard there, coach. But if that's where. For the visiting Blue Devils, number 11 in the country. Looking for a second straight ACC road win. Nice fall away bucket. Ishmael Leggett is the junior transfer from Rhode Island out of Foster trying to get baseline on low. Found it through traffic. Filipowski's three. Nine for Flip here in the first half, his 14th triple of the year. On the attack again. Four threes from four different players, and there's Roach driving to the basket. And a timeout for Jeff Capel here. Against just a ravenous disease. Well, we have a platform, Jeff is using it, and that's what's so key. Use your platform, and he's doing that. Had ALS, it was actually through a text. Jeff watched me post a, uh, a post for an ALS walk, and so he reached out to me and asked me what information was Boston College Sports Information Director Dick Kelly passed yep. from ALS and that's what kind of taught me about the disease at first. Federico, Federico from behind the line, five of their 11 field goals are triples. And you see the zone defensively for Pitt, so you got to make sure you identify the shooters. But coach, when you are playing against uh, playing a zone against a team that shoots it this well, what are the principles that you have to stay involved with? Well, first of all, it doesn't matter. They played man that time, but you've got to get out on the shooters. And Pitt's got to find a combination of hitting shots and stops here in the final five minutes. Henson, fall away three. Got it. Nine for Blake Henson. Making them drivers, and they're having trouble doing that. Filipowski out of the corner. McCain. Uh, when you're as deep as Duke, you can have a guy, Mitchell, comes off two career highs, and now he is, hasn't really got anything tonight. But that guy is coming off a couple bad games. Coach, John Shire talked to us earlier today. He said that the guy that they had to stop was Henson. That Carrington was going to get his. He was going to find his way to score. Carrington. Tried to get it to Federico, couldn't handle it. Here's Proctor with the Duke. Turnover from Pitt, a pull-up three. And the follow is good, and that's Jared McCain. He of course, is. my guy, Jay Lucas, is with me and the Cowboys. We know you're a Falcons guy. Coach Mayheim, who was your football team? Well, it was the Patriots, but I had to switch to the Bills. Now you're a Bills fan, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, got the, you're part of the Mafia. Went to their practices this year. There you go. Under the, under the, Filipowski a deep three. 
What a half for Filipowski. If you can keep Filipowski from being dominant in the post, but you've got to make sure that your guys stay closer to the shooters. I hope they fall in love with some and start missing. Austin knocks down a three. They didn't give him an easy shot. Roach had seven points, but also four first half assists. Filipowski a soft fall away. We see him switch on pick and rolls. I believe Kyle Filipowski is actually going to be a very good NBA player. I think all those attributes allow him to be very good at that level. You coach more NBA players than me. What do you think? <laughs> I only coach the very best NBA players, so I'm not a good, you know, a real good judge of that. In addition to the hot three-point shooting we saw in the first half. It's been an impressive performance by the Blue Devils. We talk about the NBA, a lot of scouts in the building. So watch this one as you see Jalen Lowe. Here's Roach back for Filipowski. Little help there. Finally, here's Foster. Soft jumper good. Boy, Caleb Foster. Coach, it's hard to survive off of individual plays like that when you have to go and make a tough shot. Yeah, the switching is just taking them out of their deep, out of their offensive game, and they're just having to go at guys, and he's got to learn to secure that and get it in the basket. Filipowski squares for another one. Also got to learn not to hold that hedge too long if he's got to get back to a guy that's four for four from beyond the three-point arc now. Uh, I'm impressed with Duke tonight. They've struggled on the road for two years, and they are not struggling. They're playing good both ends of the court. They, when they get their shots, they're knocking them down. Yep, here is a sliding drive. Proctor couldn't finish. Young, who as a player alongside the great Dave Bing, did, how much pleasure did you take as a player going and winning road games? It's, I mean, it's huge. It's good, you think, but when they're just layups, it's not really that good. So, you know. February 2014. We're coming up on the 10th anniversary of that. It was right there, right there. Yeah. From, hey, there we go. He was right. There yeah, he was right. He was on point. And, Coach, I'm going to say this, and not because you're here. I say it all the time. The best one and done in college basketball history. Carmelo and no question about oh. it. Had pretty good players with them also. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jerry yeah. Mack. Yeah, Jerry Mack. Yeah. There's a jump shot. That's Jalen Lowe. Here is McCain. The collective effort tonight by Duke. That hurt you in that formula. No, it only helps. And again, of course, I've truly learned a lot about the NCAA tournament and the selection process from my guy to the right here. And net or no net, which I'm not a net believer. But you have to win games on the road if you're on the court. Jeffress the three, his fourth of the year. They don't get beat a lot on the, from the perimeter. Their perimeter defense is pretty good. But no, I, I think they'll be fine. There's Guillermo Diaz Graham knocking down a three. And play in that fashion. I asked him, do you want us to use that word? Because, of course, yeah. the word cocky has a negative connotation to it. People used to call me that all the time. And so, therefore, and, you know, Pitt couldn't hit anything, mainly because of the defense that Duke played. Austin scoring there. Zach Austin, a transfer from High Point, originally from Winston-Salem. In WD, this was a team that at the beginning of the season was not cocky. They weren't even confident, as you see. Oh, Sean oh. Stewart. Big time block by Sean Stewart. And the losses are Georgia Tech and Arkansas. In the ACC SEC challenge. Here's Carrington with his second field goal of the ball game. Here is Carrington with 15 to shoot. One of the interesting pieces about this, and there's a runner and the score by Bob. Panthers 81 73 in late December. Another quick two game spin in the conference schedule. That's a block by Austin who can also get off the deck. And Stewart poked that away from low and saved it to Proctor. I like what John Shire is doing right now with Proctor and Foster on the floor together. These are the two guys as Powell was able to step back and knock down a three. And we know he can score an elite score. We need more from both those guys. Yeah. They're getting consistent efforts right now from Roach and McCain. But the four-guard lineup, five if you include Blakes in that bunch, he knows he's going to get from those guys. He needs these two guys to step it up. We still love you yeah. in Syracuse, especially yeah, my wife. Well, I was getting ready to say, let's get down to who the, who his favorite Bayheim is. By far. 
you got to yeah. stay to the short game, right? right? That's the next, it's, everybody says it, but it's true. The next game, you can have a bad night, and you can still come back and beat somebody really good the next game or win two or three in a row. I mean, it, it's the game of basketball. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You know, there's a reason he was preseason player of the year. And, oh, that, yeah. and, that, and you're right. It takes a little time to get yourself back after you have that kind of surgery in your office for so long. 75 to 53 is the final. And uh, John Shire picks up his 12th win of the year, his third in the ACC, headed home to meet Georgia Tech on Saturday.